Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. I'm, well, I apologize for bringing this up at this late date, but at this minute, but um, parking has now become an issue. I'm just wondering if the applicant would be agreeable to putting the cost of the parking into the cost of the room. I'm very concerned that if you charge $24 for valet parking, people won't use it. And then they'll just park on the street right by the neighbors, and that's exactly what they want to avoid is having that heavy impact. Um, so can you, Madam Chair, would you allow the applicant to speak to whether or not that's possible? I mean, this is different. It's in a neighborhood. It's a, so I don't think it would be fair to say, well, we're gonna. This isn't going to be a six dollar charge. I'm going to guess it's probably going to be like a twenty four dollar charge. So it would be a nice concession to the neighbors if you would agree to make that part of the room charge or discount it back if you don't use it. Otherwise, how are we? We're going to be back here dealing with enforcement of parking of people who come to use the hotel. Sure. <clears throat> Thanks, uh, Mr. Midley, Senator uh, Given. Um, I, I guess uh, um, you know we'd have to think that over a little bit. Just to give you an example, though, of the usage at a at a hotel versus other types of usage that could be maybe at this site, the larger scale restaurant with 150 seats or 200 seats, um, where you do have a lot of valet happening at one period of time um, in a hotel situation. At in our experience in, in both neighborhood hotels and in, in urban downtown hotels, we're seeing less than 30% people come to the hotel via their own vehicle. And so most people are coming with taxis, with Ubers. Um, the majority of our, our guests will will be you know with, within the neighborhood. Um, I don't foresee this as being uh, a, 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 as big as an issue as maybe s some people perceive. Um, we're looking at about, we, we assume we're going to have about 30 to 35 cars when we're full uh, at 100% occupancy. Um, and so I, it's something to consider. It is that I just, the way that people reserve hotel rooms and the way that, that those things, you know, happen, it's hard for me to commit to that, you know, today because we'll also get people, well, I'm not parking, so can I get a discount? Or I mean, there's going to be a lot of those kinds of, you know, questions. And I do, you know, I, I do... See the uh, the concern. There's tons of parking, believe it or not, in the neighborhood, but it's paid parking. Um, I parked last night. I went to Cena, and I had to happen to drive instead of take my bike, which I do sometimes. Um, but I but I parked uh, down downstairs in the walkway building, and there was one car in that parking lot last night. Um, I don't perceive this as much of an issue uh, for out of town travelers that are used to paying for parking if they rent a car. I guess that's my that's my opinion at this point. We can talk further, and I'm willing to to talk to work with the neighborhood. We obviously don't want a negative uh, impact in the neighborhood. We want a positive impact for the neighbors, and we want to be great neighbors. So, I mean, we're going to do everything in our best ability to make sure that 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 we are good neighbors. Uh, Madam Chair, I do think this is something that needs to be discussed between the neighbors and the applicant, perhaps before the final council action. I also ate at Cena last week. I valet parked, it was $9. I was completely outraged by it. And if I was not lazy and willing to walk, I for sure would have parked in the neighborhood, without question. I'm just being honest. <laughs> so am I the only one? You know, it was cold, so I got paid. But um, I didn't actually pay. The person I was with paid, so I didn't mind. But I would have well, I would have parked in the neighborhood and walked, without question. So I guess I can see how the neighbors would think this would be a problem. and. And so even if it won't be a problem to you, I think you should try to work with them. I can see where you don't want to have it be part of the price and how do you do it online. But if people drive up to your place, then give the valet parking for free. And then you won't have to worry about who valet parks and who doesn't. I would be very annoyed if I lived on a street with R2B zoning. <coughs> Ask the folks who live around Giordano's what they think of it. I mean, like, no one is parking with Giordano's valet. They got rid of it because no one would pay $7, and they're all parking on Humboldt right now. So I do think it's something that has to be addressed. I don't want to dictate how. Uh, this is not the role for me. Um, but it would be good if that's something that could be taken into consideration with Council Member Bender's m motion with regard to the TDM and how the valet would work. And maybe you have some cool, new, unique way to figure it out. You know, we'll keep an eye. We'll have, we'll, I guess we'll keep an open mind there and come up, you know, look at, look at different solutions. There does have to be a distinction, though, between there, there's a, a pretty su significant distinction between you and or me when I went to dinner last night versus someone traveling. 
um, coming in to spend to do overnight. It, in our experience, are very different guests. It's not the same person. So I, I think I think we're good with that. I I do appreciate this point, Councilmember Goodman, and I think. No, I, I actually hesitate to even mention this, but I, I actually think the greater problem, to your point, is that the, there's sort of a dysfunction in how we're managing parking in high-use areas like Uptown. So you can park on the street for free, uh, but you have to pay a lot of money to park in in the ample structured parking that is very expensive to build. Um, and so really over time, probably what we really need to do is is look at our parking policies in residential neighborhoods that are right near commercial and understand how we can better uh, manage the cost of on-street parking. Um, so no one wants parking meters and, and folks don't probably want to pay for on-street parking in front of their houses. So this will be a terribly unpopular idea. So <laughs> <laughs> add insult to injury. <laughs> All right. So I, I also struggle with how we would add something like that as a condition of approval to a land use application. So I think what I would like to offer is that I think I take I take you at your word that you're willing to work with the neighbors and this is a big, big issue for folks who live right nearby. And I'm very sympathetic to the concerns of um, the folks who live right on this block to having cars driving, you know, in the neighborhood. I, I actually think that would be worse again with an apartment building, uh, but I wanna make sure that we are keeping in touch over time um, that this isn't the end of this conversation about parking and traffic flow in the community. Okay, so I think, uh, so now we have a motion that um, is denial of the conditional use permit um, appeal, um, the appeal for the three variances, and then we have this additional um, condition of approval related to having a contract in place for the parking and the, um, related to the TDMP. Uh, so, and I will, and Mr. Wittenberg has a comment. Chair Bender, if I could just confirm that uh, the committee wishes to retain any conditions of approval that may have been part of these applications in, in the Planning Commission's uh, approval of those applications in addition to the condition that you uh, read about the TDMP. That's correct. Okay. And we will also, uh, we, are, we have all of the findings being unanimous in this, so we would be adopting the staff findings. Uh, any further discussion? Seeing none, all of an approval, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? That carries. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming. I know there will be likely a lot of people um, transitioning out. We do have one more item left.